Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another scrapbooking project for you guys. Uh, I'm trying to get back into my crafty groove. I'm in a temporary filming setup, as I've mentioned in some of my recent videos, and so lighting's not gonna be great, it's gonna be noisy, it's gonna be shaky because of my temporary setup, so just bear with me, but I'm trying to get caught up on uh, documenting some photos. So I started this project, it's just photos I've been taking during this whole like quarantine, shelter in place situation, which we thought was gonna be, what, like a month, and now has drawn on to like half the year. So I'm trying to get some photos documented in here. I'm going to be using the June collection from Freckled Fawn. I do have an unboxing. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to see everything that comes in that collection. I recently joined the creative team with Freckled Fawn and so I'm really excited to um, be continuing to use their product and showing you guys how I do that. I love the size of these kits, the quality of the product. It just makes it really nice to make um, layouts like this very quick and easy. I don't know about you, but I'm just lacking it's weird. I feel like I'm lacking time, but I have a lot more time. I don't know. It's just weird. It's hard to get in my crafty space. So I can throw together a layout very, very quickly. So I'm working in one of these traveler's notebooks from Freckled Fawn. Um, if this one's still available, I'll link it down below. But they offer these really awesome inserts for traveler's notebooks. They have these ones that are four three by four pockets, or they have these ones that are the standard traveler's notebook size um, pocket pages. So it's nice because your photos are protected. You can just cut your cards down, slide them in, and you are good to go. So I've already gone ahead and done some prep work. I pulled some of these six by eight pattern papers, cut them down to three by four size in the ones that I wanted to use. Um, and I could just stick some stickers down, call it good, add some journaling, but I like to add a little bit of extra embellishment. So I'm going to use this wood veneer piece from this month's collection. Um, this is Hello Sunshine. I love wood veneer because they're really fun to customize. Of course, you can use it just as is. It fits right into your little pocket, but I wanted to add some paint and I'm also going to add some gold foil detail as well as some gold foil onto this um, card. So I wasn't going to do a video, but because I was going to do that, I decided to do a process video. It should go pretty quickly and you can see how I do that. Um, I'm not going to use everything from the collection. I'm just going to do some simple journaling on here and keep it fairly easy. So let me go ahead, put you guys on fast forward and we'll put this together pretty quickly. All the products can be found down in the description box underneath the video. Those are affiliate links, so just heads up. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we'll throw this layout together pretty quick here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the wood veneer piece. I laid down a non-stick craft mat and then I pulled out some squeeze lemonade distress paint. This particular um, paint has a sponge dauber on it. You can get them without the sponge dauber, but I prefer with. Uh, and I'm just kind of squeezing it out to get the paint going and then just brushing it over the wood veneer. This is the most like mess free, easiest way to do this is with these sponge dauber tops. So I did go ahead and dry that and then I added a second coat of paint um, just to kind of intensify that yellow color and I'm loving it. But like I said, I wanna add some gold. So I pulled out my Versamark ink. This is a clear sticky ink and I am just rubbing this along the edges of that wood veneer piece and then I'm gonna coat that with some uh, Ranger sticky embossing powder. Basically this embossing powder is, is not embossing powder, it is powdered glue is the way it works. So um, my Versamark ink pad is a little bit dry, so I'm, I'm gonna fight with it this whole video, but uh, I'm just gonna make sure that I have plenty of that clear sticky ink, and then I'm gonna add some of that uh, glue on there and then take my heat tool to it. And when it gets clear, that is when the, cl the glue has been activated. Now I want the embossing to be nice and strong. So while that glue is wet or clear, I'm gonna go ahead and add a second coat of that sticky embossing powder to it, just to make sure that it's nice and um, coated. Like I said, I was fighting with my Versamark. Uh, you wanna have everything ready because it's glue, it dries. So for that second layer, you can see I've not activated it with my heat tool yet. It's still white powder. And I'm gonna leave that for a second while I get everything ready to go. And then I'm gonna work in sections. So I'm gonna heat set this until that powder is clear. And then I'm immediately gonna lay down some gold deco foil. And you are gonna leave this on there until that glue dries or sets. And so basically I'm just gonna continuously rub that uh, foil on there until it starts to shift and move. And that's how I know that my glue is dry. And so then when I pull it away, the glue has held onto the gold foiling. So it, it takes a little bit of practice to get this down. Um, that sticky embossing powder can be a little bit tricky to work with, but this is the most effective way I've found for adding, 
you know, really bright, shiny gold foiling to things. Um, you could also do this with gold embossing powder, but it's not quite as metallic as gold foil. But if you don't want to fuss with the sticky embossing powder, you could just um, do the same thing with gold powder. Uh, I like to go over this with my EK Success powder tool. This just adds powder to anywhere where glue might still be exposed. That way my piece is not sticky. Um, and it kind of like pushes down the foil a little bit and it's just um, a way to finish it. And it is gonna be a very distressed look and that is what I want. I just am adding that to the outside of that wood veneer piece. And then to bring in some more gold, I decided to go ahead and do the same thing to this pattern paper. Again, this has been cut down to three by four. I kind of fought with my <laughs> Versamark a little bit, so I had to cut some things out, but I'm just inking up the edges of this card and adding the embossing powder. I'm only adding one layer of the sticky embossing powder this time. And then again, while it is clear and activated, I'm sticking down that gold foil, waiting till the glue is dry and then pulling it up. Um, because I'm working with a clear sticky ink, you can't really see where it's at. So you kind of just have to be okay with imperfection and craziness. Um, I want it just to look like, I don't know, distressed gold foiling around the edge of this card. And you'll see again, I'm, I'm working in sections. So one side at a time uh, is what I found to be the easiest with that uh, embossing powder. And then again, finishing it with the powder tool just to remove any stickiness. And there you go. Just a way to quickly and easily jazz up um, some embellishment pieces just by adding some gold foiling. So I pulled out the label stickers and then the chipboard pieces, and this is gonna be my journaling card. I'm gonna be using a Micron pen just to hand write my journaling. I have been really enjoying my uh, typewriter, but it's in my hot office, and I'm not sitting back there any more than I absolutely have to. So I went ahead and just hand wrote out my journaling. Uh, Mr. Aiden there, my one son Aiden, he loves to go kayaking with me. My son Connor hates it. So Aiden and I have been getting some one-on-one -on -one time lately, which has been pretty nice out on the lake there. All right, so now it's just gonna be a little bit of embellishment. I felt like I needed to bring in a little pop of that lime green. So I'm gonna use the alpha stickers from this month um, to spell out lake success, since that is the lake that we were at. Not that we go to very many other lakes, but you know, who knows, 20 years from now, I might forget where we were kayaking. So I'm just gonna add um, that title onto that card. Uh, I have just really been loving just taking photos of nature and scenery and just, you know, kind of seeing all the beauty that's around us. I'm going to use another one of those chipboard pieces to kind of cover up my low cut bathing suit. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but you know, I figured I'll cover it up while I can and then added another enamel or added an enamel heart to bring in some more of that lime green. And that is it. Super quick. This came together in about 30 minutes. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I used in the video today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.